<laughs> Shut up! <laughs> What's going on? Snoring! I don't snore. You do! Any second now we'll find out who the gay serial killer is and I can't hear above the roar of Foghorn Leghorn over there. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Foghorn. He's a better chook than you'll ever be. <laughs> don't you shush me. Just remember who's holding the remote control. <laughs> I'm sorry I shushed you. Now, could you just be quiet for the next 60 seconds? I don't want to. It's my house. I don't have to. All right! How about this? If you'll be quiet for the next 60 seconds, I'll make you a cup of Milo when the movie's over. All right. Thanks. Will it have skin on it? What? <laughs> the Milo, will it have skin on it? Do you want skin on it? No, I hate skin on it. All right, then it won't have skin on it. Then again, it's not really Milo without skin on it. Fine! I'll make you two! One with and one without. Now, will you just be quiet? Uh oh there's a bloke with a dress on. You sure this isn't SBS? He's the undercover cop tracking down the gay serial killer. Funny-looking dog. That's his gay sniffer dog. Oh, ad break. Go on, make the Milo. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickle me grandmother, the nympho's on the telly. Turn it up! <laughs> Hello, darlings, I'm Joan Collins. Just because you're over 55 doesn't mean life stops or your sex life stops. That's why I want you to have my new book, You're Never Too Old, Sex in the Golden Years. <laughs> my years in Hollywood taught me many amazing secret techniques. How often I heard famous producers say, Joan, you deserve an Oscar for that. <laughs> now you can share my bedroom secrets. All my techniques are explained in easy to follow step-by-step -step photos with large print instructions, so you don't need to find your glasses in those urgent moments. <laughs> Never to own sex with the golden years. You love it, and so will he, at good bookstores everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this book? As a matter of fact, she gave me one for you. <laughs> Signed and everything. <laughs> Dear Teddy, how about coming over for a chapter 13? <laughs> What's a chapter 13? <gasps> <gasps> I can't do that. <laughs> Banana custard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah! Mr. Johnston! <laughs> it's 11.30. What are you doing in my office? I was just doing some research on the internet. Oh, really? Who's that woman? Woman? What woman? That's not a woman, that's another researcher. Yeah. Good heavens, it is a woman I hadn't noticed. She was naked. Yes, well, it's very hot in Sweden at this time of year. It's winter. Yes, well, they have uh, tropical snow over there. Tropical snow. Yes, that's why Stockholm is the coconut capital of the world. Yes, but why are you in my office? Why can't you use your own phone line? Listen, I don't have to put up with this. I once owned a Daimler that the Queen sat in. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's very late and I'm trying to get home to my wife. But, Mr. Johnston, I demand to know what you were doing in my office. I was not looking at naked women on the internet. If you say so, I shall deny it. Nobody would ever believe that you caught me perving on naked women on the internet. <laughs> I was just uh, taking my computer for a walk. <laughs> Cyber dog. Yeah. Oh, good heavens! Look at the time. <laughs> well, good night. Sleep tight, or as they say in Sweden. No, they don't. They don't say anything in Sweden. Good night. Well, I think I can say tonight has been one of our best theatre nights, in spite of the problems with Darcy driving the village bus. <laughs> but I did notice that soon after interval, one or two nodded off. So, hands up those who want to know what happened in the second half. <laughs> Read your programs. I'm going to bed. Samantha, darling, wonderful news. 
After the show, I bumped into John Hind, and guess what? He's one of your old husbands. <laughs> no, he saw my book commercial and wants to do a three-hour Joan Collins TV special. I'm so thrilled for you, Joan. But tell me, how are they going to fill up the remaining two and a half hours? Clips from my classics, darling. I thought I'd start with my famous lagoon scene with Cary Grant as the cannibal chief. Yes, good. Anyway, excuse me. <laughs> Darcy. One leader one. Good news. What? I found the bus. <laughs> One leader, one. <laughs> you wanted me? I found this note wrapped around a rock under my hat. What does it say? It says, Darcy, I want you. <laughs> ah, yes. The grand reopening of the pool. The heating system's finished. The painters have almost finished. And I've decided we should have a groovy Gidget beach party for the opening day. Great idea. What's a Gidget? <laughs> Gidget was a cute American girl who danced around beaches in the 60s. Did she have clothes on? Yes. Bummer. So, I need you to arrange some beach umbrellas, some luau flares, a case of pineapples and a pig on a spit. Check, we'll go. <clears throat> and uh, get some of these. What are they? Inflatable pool toys. See? <laughs> Flipper, Terry the Tortoise, Octopussy. <laughs> wow! There's a pink and green hippo here. <laughs> or is that just the pills kicking in? Uh, which, which, which ones do you want? I don't care. Just ring him and order a dozen of the most popular line. Okay. Can do, will do, Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh, the bells! Oh, run, run! The aliens will get us! It's my alarm clock! Oh, what a relief. Why would aliens ring a bell when they arrive? I don't know, but they did last week. Right in the middle of Blue Healers. <laughs> they love that Lisa, uh, what's her name? Come on, it's Joan's interview with John Hyde. Is it on yet? In a minute. Oh, here it is. Welcome to Take Two. Oh, I can't look. I hate seeing myself. I always look awful. Don't be silly, Joe. You look fabulous. Fabulous? You think so? Very special tribute to. Yes, I suppose I do. How did they do it? All these are Joan Collins. Joan Collins at her riveting best, and all classics of the cinema. Oh, John, darling, you're too kind. Oh, no, no, you were wonderful. So beautiful, so smouldering. True <laughs> screen goddess, true uh, screen goddess. I suppose so. Well, then, in 1958, they cast you opposite Errol Flynn in Roots of Heaven. A very aptly named film. <laughs> Errol was an absolute darling, of course. But as for Trevor Howard, I could take or leave him. So I did. I took him and then I left him. So over the years, your name has been linked to many men, and there have been six husbands. And yet, somehow, you've managed to escape the fate of so many film stars. You've never become lonely or bitter. No, darling, I have a full life. Perhaps there's a current husband. Yes, a wonderful man. Give us his name. His name? It's... It's... Oh, it's... Oh, isn't this silly? Ted. It's Ted. Ted Bullpit. Bullpit? Oh, I thought you said... Yes, everyone says that. Oh, he's fabulously wealthy and a famous director. I don't know any director of that name, you know. Not in films, darling. Theatre. Oh, oh, well, we must have him on the show. No. I mean, that's... that's not possible. He's... Over in Poland at the moment, directing the Warsaw production of Cats. <laughs> Ted's very keen on cats. <laughs> boom, boom, baby. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate, I nearly trod on you. It's the third one of them I've seen this morning. <laughs> Sir John of the Round. Uh, oh, it's you, Darcy. Haven't seen Muriel around, have you? 
No, but there's a little green bloke out there I, I nearly trod on. Him. <laughs> good, good. Look, Darcy, I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> Take one of these? No problem. <laughs> what are they? I don't know, but boy, my problems went. <laughs> well, yeah, look, uh, you know I've been having this affair on the internet. You're still having cyber sex with Helga? Gosh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's got a bit out of control. Muriel found out. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just that I thought it was safe to do anything because she lives in Sweden. But, well, now she's coming out here to visit and she wants to get together with her cyber lover. Ooh! <laughs> mega bummer. Yeah. You better take all of these. <laughs> better still, run! Hey, yeah, well, it's not quite as simple as that. You see, um, I gave a false name. Ooh! Thinking, thinking. What name? Dead Bullpit. <laughs> I think I better take another one of these. <laughs> but it's okay because he doesn't know. And, and when we exchanged photos, I didn't send one of Ted. Right. <laughs> I sent one of you. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay because I don't know. <laughs> right. Oh, well. We're laughing. So, if she does turn up, you will have to be Ted. What does she look like? Oh, S E X E. For her, I'd be Yasser Arafat. <laughs> Someone should blow women up. They're always late. Here I am, darling. Sorry I'm late. I've just had the most amazing thing happen to me. A bit more of that later. Because you'll never guess who just rang me. Who? Magazine. They want to do a cover story on me. Congratulations, Joe. The book's selling. John Hind interviews me. Suddenly my career's alive again. There's just one small problem, and this, Teddy, darling, is where you come in. No. I need you to be my husband for the interview. I? Oh, please, Teddy, it's my trademark. I always have a husband, just for the photos and the interview. I was a husband once, and now I'm not, and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Johnny, will you? Oh, well, I don't know. It's... Um... Highly irregular. Jono will do it. Just a minute. It'll be fun, Jono. For years I've wished you were someone else's husband. <laughs> and now you've got him, Joe. Oh, thank you, Muriel. Uh, just a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm not some commodity like a, a sack of flour or pork bellies. Of course, he won't be much use to you. He just lies around like one of those old tomcats that's been cut. Muriel! <laughs> he just yawns and belches and, you know... Thunderbum! <laughs> Muriel! Come on, guys. Breakfast. Psst, Purple Traveller. I saw one of your little mates yesterday. I think they're looking for you. But don't worry, I said nothing. Does it? Blonde leader one. May you know the wisdom of the wilderness? Good. Anyway, the pool party. Cardinal Fitzgerald has finally agreed to do the opening. Now, beach umbrellas? A tick. L luau flares? Tick. Uh, the pineapples and the pig on the spit? Tick, tick, tick. I'm Darcy Kelso. These stories and more... Shut up! <laughs> Please. Now, what about the inflatable pool toys? Done deal. For half of what your mob were going to charge, my mate Lee Chan is sending over a dozen of his best-selling line. Look out, there's one behind you! What? What? <laughs> what a jump! <laughs> but then again, they don't have a problem with gravity, do they? No. If you say so. Hello, I am Helga Hansen. I am pleased to meet you. Where is my big, cuddly Aussie koala? I don't know. Did you leave it on the bus or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? I told you. I am Helga Hansen. I am pleased to meet you. Would you stop doing that? What do you want? 
This is Ted Bulpi's place, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, I am from Sweden. He invited me. Where are you from? What's your name? I'm Terry, his granddaughter. Huh. I've never heard of him having a Swedish friend. Oh, I am his secret friend. We talk to each other in sexy way. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not this Ted Bull, Peter. No, 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 no. Be this. Oh, no, not that bit. Uh, no, 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 not that bit either. <laughs> Very naughty bit. Uh, if ever you are in Australia, please come and stay. My address is... That's this place, all right? Oh, it was a long flight. <laughs> I must have a shower, and then I uh, take a pill, have a long sleep, through here. Um, I suppose so. Look, I'm sorry, I'm running late. I I've got to go. Uh, I will be fine. Goodbye. Uh, um, I don't know when he'll be back, but, um... He won't be long. Bye. <laughs> I am sure that this splendid heated pool facility will enrich the lives of you all. And now it is my honor to declare the pool officially open. Record, Your Eminence. Oh, very well. <laughs> Good heavens! I think that one winked at me. women carry hooting around, ruining a man's life. Oh, don't be an old grump, Teddy. The journalist will be here in a minute. Johnny and I will do the interview, and in half an hour, everything will be back to normal. Oh, I wish Johnny would hurry up. I still don't understand why it has to be here. Because I'm supposed to be married to Ted Bulpit, the famous theatrical director, as against the famous bushfire in a cardigan. Mm. <laughs> oh. Now, run along and play with the darts, eh? Oh. Hello, Bullpit Townhouse. <laughs> no. What? Oh, no! Jono's still in town, he's had a puncture. That'd be right, flat falcon freak. <laughs> My God, that's them! You'll have to be him. Who? My husband. Whether you like it or not, you'll have to be Ted Bullpit. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Fifty dollars. Make it a hundred. Seventy-five. Done. <laughs> Hang on. No kissing. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Miss Collins. I'm Susan Winchester, and this is our photographer, Steve. Come in. Welcome to our humble townhouse. Sorry we couldn't go to the country estate, but the tractors are being drenched. <laughs> this is Teddy, my darling husband. No kissing. <laughs> sit down. But don't sit there. That's my chair. I love my chair. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, you made it back from Warsaw, all right then? Hey? Warsaw, darling. You remember Warsaw? The Second World Warsaw? <laughs> This city. You were over there directing cats. You loved it. Oh, yeah, I love those bloody cats. <laughs> now tell me, where did you two meet? At a pub. In Africa. <laughs> a pub or Africa? Uh, both. A pub in Africa, wasn't it, Teddy? Oh, yeah, the Elephant Hilton. <laughs> they serve cannibals in pots. Good. Now, Steve, for the photo... Oh, the photo. Teddy, go and put a tie on. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll finish the rest of the interview. <laughs> yes, we were at the Elephant Hilton in Nairobi. I was there filming Black Warrior, White Woman, and Teddy... Sorry I'm late, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Damn Polish Airlines. Ran out of petrol over India. <laughs> <laughs> darling. I've missed you. 
Hello, I'm Ted Volpit. But isn't... Just back from Warsaw. <laughs> Been directing cats over there. Absolute triumph. And the toast of Poland. Teddy, darling, could we have a word in my bedroom? She can't get enough of me. <laughs> right, well, let's get this over. What are you doing here? I live here. I'm Ted Bullpit. Who are you? Ted Bullpit. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. I met at the Elephant Hilton. What's going on? How can there be two Ted Bullpits? I can explain everything. We are identical twins. <laughs> Mother called us both Ted so she wouldn't get confused. But then he had plastic surgery. I? Oh, what is all this noise? Who the hell are you? I am Helga from Sweden. Who are you? I'm Ted Bullpit. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Look, for God's sake, who is Ted Bullpit? <laughs> Grumble one, Kenobi, you've got to hide me. Oh, here is my dead bully. Fucking hell, got you naughty man. 